<sighs> Look at them. Lazy little buggers have nothing to do with life. Well, what are you just sitting around for? Let's talk to them. Maybe they can think of something. Besides, you don't want to get the plot going. Whatever you say, Elliot. Hey! Hey! Not now, Greenberg. We're busy. With what? Being bored. Well, get off your lazy butts and do something for once in your life. We have life. Yeah, just because you think we don't have a life means we do have a life, Greenberg. This whole thing reminds me of that show where that gumball machine guy treats us like uh, partners in crime. Yeah, kind of like that bluebird raccoon. Look, we have no time for references. Well, there's no rush in anything, Greenberg. What do you mean? I'm just bored. There's nothing to do. Well, thing has something to do, you two. Hey, Jeff, I've been wondering. Yeah? Ever since you got back from vacation, I thought of a little bit of ideas. Yeah, a dream? Yep, I had a dream. Ooh, let's hear that. Ah, see what I mean. Just being themselves. Makes sense. Hey, what's that in the sky? What do you mean? There's something... Oh, my God. not the difference, buddy. What? Oh, hey, Dad. I didn't hear you come in. That doesn't matter, son. We are in a crisis right now. Why? We just got back from vacation. I know, but there's something I need to tell you. The shovel is missing. What do you mean? This uh, little shovel prop. It's missing. Then if it's missing, why do you have it right now? Because I want to show you what it looks like if you forget. But, Dad, that classifies that you found it. It's not missing anymore. Um, now it is. Hey, watch where you're throwing that. Why am I even over here? Cybaz Jr. Jeez, what's up with people these days? I know. Okay, fine, Dad. We'll go on a little mission to find the shovel. Since you just threw it over there. Uh, what do you mean? It's not there. What do you mean? It's literally right over there. And no, it's not. Huh. Would you look at that? That's really ridiculous. Where'd it go? I don't know. That's why you want you guys to help me. Sure. Hey, Greenberg, you come with us? Never in my life will I come with you guys again. Why not, Greenberg? We did that in Black Friday. I know, but it was total heck, and I didn't want to experience anything like that ever again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other things to think about. Besides, what do you want for Christmas? I don't know. I don't know. Huh? Freaking idiots. <laughs> Let's go, Jeff. Bye! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, I think I sprained my shin a bit. Oh, boy. Here we go again. Oh, oh somebody give me a cracker and rub my belly. Uh, Dad, we're here. Hey, right, Jeff, how's it going? We're looking for your shovel. Oh, yes, I forgot. Um, oh, hey, it's Orange Bird and Charlie. Hey, what's up? We were just taking a walk. Pretty nice day. Saw some fluttering in the sky because it's almost uh, Christmas, you know. I can't believe it's already December. Hey, Orange Bird, how you been, man? I've been doing pretty good. Now listen, I heard you're in the middle of some shovel business, right? Shovel business? Yeah, that's perfect. Wait, uh, you guys talk about Shovel Knight? I have no insinuation to play Shovel Knight. Why not? I never even know what the game is. It's just a game about a, a knight wielding a shovel. It's more than that, dude. It's a dungeon crawler game. Bowser Jr., uh, do you have other things to go, like, for SML drama? Don't remind me. <laughs> Jeff, that was so rude. I mean, well... ABC does not lie a little bit. What? Okay, guys, uh, let's get back on topic. So, Orangeberry, where did you see a shovel? A shovel? It was hidden in Bowser Jr.'s face. Ah, <laughs> It doesn't matter of fact, it was right in that red barrel right there. Which one? The one next to this one. This one? No, that has an Among Us plush in it. What? Why does that Archibald guy never leave? What are you talking about? He's been dead for like two years. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot about him. Let's hope he's forgotten. Okay, guys, uh, you guys can just get in uh, this barrel if you want. That one? But that looks superior than the other one. Don't you mean as small as the other one, Jeff? Okay. Let's get inside. Ugh. Oh my god, he's went in. 
Jeff, sing the Macarena of You're Okay. Uh, Mr. Rex, is he okay in there? Uh, I don't know. Let me go check. Uh, uh. He's wiggling his legs around, man. Well, what does that insinify? I think it means that he's in trouble. I got him. I got him. Uh, oh, Jeff, are you okay? Uh, my God. It's amazing down there. You serious? Yeah. There is like Atlantis massage chairs. They freaking got mermaid people there. And there is even a mermaid princess. You joking me? Are you serious? I'm not serious. I'm, I'm literally telling you guys that it's amazing down there. What? Let me see. Jeff, do you know what this means? You guys unlocked an interdimensional por portal way to Atlantis? No way! I want to see the Lost Empire movie. But Turning Red, Soul, and Luca are already returning to theaters. Oh, well, uh, you can never go wrong with a box office flop. Like with a Travis Scott meal or something. Alright, guys, if you don't... If you guys are on to ignore me, I guess I'm going to go my way now. I really need to think of another... Another idea for life in life, you know? I really gotta get a purpose. Well, try and get a job, Petey. It's Dave. I thought her name was Charlie. Never mind. Hey, Omnama, are you okay in there? You're spending a lot of time in there. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, what's up, Omnom? Nothing much. How'd you get here? Oh, I've just been talking to Ruby. Wait, Ruby? I've been down here, too. How's it going? It's going pretty good, Ruby. Um... How are you feeling from our trip in va from vacation? I love the sights, Jeff. Thanks for showing me there. Also, did you know that uh, I live in Atlantis too? Huh, I didn't know that. Also, I'm also looking for uh, Kida from Atlantis Lost Empire. I loved that movie. I don't know why Disney didn't like it, though. Yeah, maybe it's because it was underrated in a way. Also, Kida is my great-great-grandmother. How is that even possible? Hmm, I don't know myself. Whoa! Boo! What are you doing here? I'm a tarot reader. You're a tarot what now? A tarot reader. I read fortunes. And how come you didn't tell us about that now? I have no idea. And why'd you lick me on my butt? Dude, I just came here for the free crystals. I am a tarot reader, after all. Hey, uh, guys, I don't know if you're wondering, but this guy stole your shovel. Is that Mr. X's shovel? Apparently, that's what he's been blabbering about this whole time. Sorry, but that's my dad's shovel for some reason. It's like a prop you used in the show. I see. Well, good luck back up there. You're not coming with us? I'm staying here for an extended vacation, too. Oh, that's cool and all, Ruby. Thanks. Gotta go now. But wait, how do we get back up? <laughs> As if I'm the only one who gets stuff done. Just grab onto my tongue, and we'll get things done. Was that like a rhyme? No, it was not a rhyme. It was actually just, uh, Pulp Fiction. Eh. Eh. What kind of show tunes do you love? I don't know. Hey, do you hear something? No, I don't hear a thing. No, wait. Listen. Bro, I don't have ears. Turns out we do, but they're very small. We can't see them. If I had ears, I'd panic. Oh, Omnom, you made it. Where's Jeff? Boo helped us out of there. So was it beautiful down there? It's amazing down there, Dad. I wish I could go. But for some reason, I couldn't see. It was too blue. That's because you're blocking the hatch. It's okay. And I'm here, too. What's up, Boo? Nothing much, but I got the shovel. Thank you so much, you guys. No problem. No problem, Dad. Next time, keep that shovel very secure because we don't want any strangers coming in. That's right, because I'm going to shovel out their insides and put a flower pot in it. Mr. Rex, you are crazy, man. Not as crazy as you, Orange Bird. Come on, Jeff, let's go back on the bed. <laughs> Whoa, Sydney, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm going to lay down here for a bit. <laughs> Whoa! That really woke me up. I'm just going to... Uh. So, what did you two learn today? Nothing. Nothing. Actually, nothing. There is a portal to Atlantis for some reason. How? How is that possible? How can a single block like that lead to Atlantis? You just gotta use your mind, man. Whatever, boo. Listen, I'm not in the mood for any of your crazy shenanigans. 
again. Too bad. I'm a stacking up. Stacking up what? I'm stacking on top boo. I have legs now. Those don't look like legs. What's that noise? It must be from the outside. So, Dad, what are you going to do with the shovel again? Oh, exactly. You reminded me of something. I'm going to use this shovel for something. Hey, get in here. I got Papa John's pockets. Whoa, whoa. Did somebody say they have hot pockets? Back in my day, the 90s were the best thing. Hey! <laughs> Yahtzee. That's not how you play Yahtzee, Mr. X. My grandpa is very self-efficient. And he knows when he's flung around. Oh, huh. Oh, um, uh, where did the waterworks go? Back to normal as usual, right, Om Nom? Back to normal as usual. But first, I'm going to take a little look at this uh, portal right here, because it doesn't look promising. If it does, just put your mind to it. Okay.